right guys thanks for stopping by the channel today today we're having a look at another uh, 112 scale two-wheel drive uh, desert truck this one is by uh, ZLH or Zenlehong Toys uh, this is the model 9120 I purchased this on amazon.com and I'll put a link below in the description for you guys if you want to check this one out now what we're looking at here is a kind of I believe a clone or a rebrand of a uh, GP Toys uh, 912 uh, that has a 912 chassis with just a different body kit on it that's my belief and we'll go into a little bit uh why i'm thinking that uh in just a couple of minutes here but first off we're gonna take a look at the box itself uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz system here so it's using a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, wi-fi signal or signal from the transmitter to the uh, car itself uh, this has a multiple multiple direction with a brake on it so you'll be able to left right back and forward uh, four directions there pretty much standard for rc vehicles Vehicles. Uh, this has high speed as well. So they're talking about uh, claimed 38 kilometers per hour. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily true. We probably have to check that out with the GPS to verify that. Uh, but if it's anything like the GP Toys uh, variant of the uh, car, uh, it's going to be pretty fast. Side of the box, we have uh, some more information here. Basically, it's just giving us the uh, Zinli Hong Toys uh, logo uh, with the registered trademark. Uh, the item number again is the model 9120. This is IPX4 uh, waterproof, uh, which basically equates to water resistance on this one. So splashes that type of thing. Not really immersible, guys. So keep in mind when you're if you do guys happen to get if you guys do happen to get this. Excuse me. If you guys do happen to get this, you want to make sure that you're not immersing this in water because uh, you could cause yourself some trouble going forward again we have the 38 plus uh, kilometers per hour uh, claim on the box here and it says tougher stronger and faster and this is full proportional not only with the throttle but with the steering as well and recommended for ages eight and up on the sides of the box uh, we're gonna have some more information uh, so on this side of the box right here you're getting a lot of that same information we just looked at um, this is using a lot of steel parts a lot of metal parts in the uh, actual construction so you're using uh, metal universal joint cups and sealed ball bearings in the wheels um, independent suspension all the way around now suspension on this particular model is not going to be oil filled so the shocks are not oil filled they're friction uh, but they look to be somewhat adjustable in putting spacers between the coils uh, to adjust some of the preload uh, independent steering differential as well uh, so everything uh, seems to be pretty cool, uh, nicely made on here. And this is what I'm calling uh, a, a entry level um, hobby grade uh, car. Uh, so this does have trim on the, as far as the... Um, remote control goes you are going to have a trim uh, adjustment on here for your steering and it's kind of giving you a little idea how to operate that right there on the other side of the car we have uh, inside of the box I should say excuse me uh, we have a picture of the car we have two variant colors so we, this one's going to come in a green uh, and it's also in kind of an amber or orange I guess you could call it and I did get the amber orange with this particular uh, purchase um, all the same information here 112 scale all right guys the back of the box is going to be pretty standard standard for these types of cars. Um, it's going to give you pretty much all the information you need to know about any of the warnings on here. Uh, it's going to show you that it does come with a charger and it's a 9.6 volt battery which is a 3S or 3 cell battery uh, and um, it gives you the information on how to open up the battery hatch, how to install the battery, uh, basic installation of batteries on the uh, remote control. Now the remote does not come with batteries but it requires two double A's. It's stating right here this is not a toy, it's authentic hobby grade. Um, I believe that, and I'm going to show you in a little bit more in depth why I believe that uh, once we start taking a look at the car and at the instruction manual that's included with this. Uh, so any information on here, guys, you can go ahead and pause that and take a look at it for yourself if you want to get any more uh, quick information on this. Uh, but sides of the box are going to be pretty much the same. Uh, this is going to give the same information as we've seen before, just in a different format. Um, all the metal parts that are included on the car. And I think we've covered pretty much all the sides of this. Uh, now it's going to show show the uh, actual car without the body kit installed on it and it's going to give a little blow up of the um, universal joint uh, cup uh, uh, details and uh, where the metal parts are located on the universal joint uh, metal a arms metal universal joint cups um, high wear tires um, seal ball bearings in the wheels and in the I guess some place in the axle back here there probably is going to be as well and then lock nuts on all four wheels uh, these wheels are not um, 
are not going to be foam filled. They are just straight rubber. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box, guys. Uh, not a bad looking box. Maybe something uh, you might want to hang on to if you guys are into hanging on to boxes. This is uh, pretty sturdy cardboard. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what else is inside the box. So give me one second and I'll grab that. All right, guys, inside the box, we're going to have our owner's manual. It's the first thing we're greeted with. Uh, now, this is really nicely done, guys. Everything seems to be really good um, as far as the Chinese to English translation on here. Uh, the pictures and all the diagrams are nice, uh, pretty, pretty much com really comprehensive. Uh, going to show you how to hook up the charger, all that type of stuff, anything you might need to know. Uh, how to open up the body, take the body off to install your battery, uh, that type of stuff. Some battery precautions, that type of thing for, um, you know, not overcharging. What I think uh, kind of sets this apart from a lot of toy grade um uh, cars is the fact that we have a complete parts list here. Now, everything's broken down into parts numbers with pictures nicely done um, and we have a pretty extensive list here so most of the parts on this car are going to be replaceable guys and I think that's important and that's what sets this apart from a uh, a toy grade uh, to a quote unquote hobby grade. Now this I believe is an entry level hobby grade uh, car. Um, everything in here is nicely labeled nicely picked, uh, nice pictures on here here. Uh, you can get screws, you can get uh, new receiver boards, chargers, batteries, the whole nine yards. Everything is replaceable on it. Uh, well, what's also kind of nice, guys, is you have these uh, 3D, what I call 3D blueprints here. You have blow-ups of the uh, car itself, all the, com all the suspension components, everything like that. And uh, aside from, aside on every one of these parts, aside from that, uh, you're going to have all the part numbers uh, corresponding to the part on here. So you know exactly what part number you should be ordering, um, should you need to order order that. Uh, the chassis in and of itself is also going to be repl uh, replaceable as well as the motor cover, uh, battery hatch, and so on. So very, very nicely done, guys. Something to hang on to, uh, keep as reference for future if something should break. Um, very nicely done. The Chinese to English, very good. So we'll set that aside for now, guys. Uh, this is going to come with a little parts bag, and I've already got it labeled here because I've got a million of these sitting in my, in my, um, drawer over here my parts drawer this is going to come with um some spare gears uh which i think is kind of cool guys you don't see that too often but this is going to come with a drive and a spline gear here so you have um spare gears for the car uh you're gonna have the long drive gear i guess it's kind of the uh the long drive gear here this is kind of the pinion that goes on the end of the motor shaft but you're getting those two gears which i think is cool nice little replacement parts there and then you're getting a lug nut wrench i guess you could call this uh for re, re uh replacing or tightening the wheel um, this is made of plastic so not really that strong i've got probably 20 or 30 of these things laying around but what's one more right um, inside this bag also was um, two extra uh, hood pins and i'll show you what those look like in a second and also our charger our charger is going to be a usb to uh, a uh, uh, proprietary type charger it's a six pin charger here uh, to go with the battery plug uh, this is going to have an LED on the inside as well as an o is a uh, overcharge protection circuitry a uh, red and a, a red and a green LED uh, red means charging green is going to mean fully charged and that's kind of nice you could basically use just your uh, USB wall wart for a cell phone or or anything else like that so that's kind of cool that they included that as well uh, the remote control that it comes with is uh, uh, pretty basic, feels kind of toy-ish. Uh, this is going to take... Um two AA batteries that are not included in here. It also comes with a little screwdriver. I don't have that right now to show you, but basically just a small screwdriver to get that screw out to replace the batteries on the inside. Now, I do have this labeled for two different cars. I have it labeled for my um, my S915, which is my GP Toys, and the 9120. This works on both cars, which tells me that this is uh, using the same receiver board as my S915 GP Toys. So that leads me to believe that this is probably made by GP toys and just re uh relabeled for um uh, zing Li hong toys anyway um on this side here we're going to have our trim function here so basically you can set your steering trim there's a little knurled knob on the inside there left or right depending on which direction it's veering and you have a fake antenna up on top here a little lanyard clip here so if you want to put this around your neck you have that little uh kind of clip there as well on this side here we're going to have our steering now unfortunately this steering wheel is not going to be compatible for left-handed drivers so something that I wish that they would kind of fix on this uh, so my uh, so so our left-handed uh, drivers can enjoy this car as well but unfortunately for right now this does not install on the side um, 
Pretty toyish feeling though, but guys, this does really does a nice job. Power switch right here, and it's letting you know that in fact it is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, system. So we're going to set that aside for the time being. Let's go grab the car here. Now the car itself, guys, is really nicely made. I'm going to show you this in a little bit more depth um, as we go here. Let me go ahead and lower this camera just a little bit, and I apologize for the shakiness, guys. I'll go ahead and do this on in real time, so we're not wasting a whole lot of time here. I'm trying to make this as quickly as I can. Um, this is a um entry-level hobby grade car so what we're seeing on this car right here guys is a really nicely done uh, roll cage uh, you have an in in uh, independent suspension all the way around and these are just friction shocks as mentioned before uh, with a spring um, you can actually get little spacers that you would put between the springs here uh, up on top here between the spring and the actual plastic stop so you can um, in, in effect uh, adjust the preload a little bit these are pretty spongy uh, but I have had this car out driving it before and very very effective uh, the tires on this are going to be on and off road um, style and it's really kind of a different sort of compound on here feels a little bit more um, I guess you could say resilient or kind of harder compound uh, to withstand a little bit more wear on roads um, this does okay in the dirt or on on, on gravel uh, but being that it is a rear wheel drive only uh, you're going to be more uh, susceptible to doing burnouts and that type of thing if you give it too much throttle but if you get used to it you throttle it lightly to start and then you, you can hit it hard um, does pretty well all the way around we have the same type of suspension guys we have suspension in the back here you have your bumper and you have a um, a spoiler up on top of that all the plastic on here guys is really really nicely done it's very very resilient almost feels like a nylon or some sort of a fiber um, and same thing with all the suspension parts here the a-arms that type of thing as well uh, metal parts are going to come into play inside the cups here and up by the uh, drive shaft on the back here uh, where the differential would be um, so let's go ahead and get this thing open Open. I'll show you guys what the chassis looks like. Um, I think it's kind of cool that they included this um, this setup up on top here, this light setup. Now there is no lights pre-installed on here, but I think it'd be pretty easy if we take a quicker look at this, a quick look at this, uh, to install some LEDs on here and actually get some lighting on here. I think it'd be pretty cool. And I do plan on doing that in the future, so stay tuned for a video showing that going forward a little bit. Uh, but let's take a look at how to get this thing apart. And we'll see that there's two two pins up on top here these just basically will slide out of the way so we'll set these off to the side right now and uh, the body would just swing up out of the way uh, like so uh, one thing I don't really like about this guys is the way this was designed um, when we swing when we swing this up it stops right here and there's nothing really holding it up so you actually have to hold it up with one hand and then open up the um, compartment on this side right here now this is going to include a battery I, I, this particular kit included two batteries and I'll show you those in just a second here get that open but you can see there is a proprietary plug up inside here your antenna is going to be right here and then you do have a power switch for off and on right next to that one of the Achilles heels on this particular truck in my opinion is the fact that you have to take the battery hatch off in order to get to the switch I wish they would have moved the switch either outboard underneath or somewhere else on the car that'd be easier to access instead of having to take the battery hatch off and all of that rigmarole uh, but you can see on here everything is is um, enclosed via these screws so everything is replaceable um, your motor compartment in the back here um, you have one two three four five six screws to take that off to replace your motor or to get at your motor at the very least um, you have a servo up in front here for your steering and your um, actual uh, board underneath this little plate right here this is your receiver board and your servo would be underneath um, everything is via this one single plug which I think is kind of cool it's kind of proprietary but it seems to be pretty nice as far as uh, uh, the the design of that as well and I don't think I'll be I don't think I'll be um modifying this for any different battery i have like four of these batteries right now let's take a look at the batteries that came with this real quick guys now these are going to be lithium ion cells and give me one second i'll grab those and the batteries that come with this again are going to have the proprietary plug there's a little clip on here so it, once it snaps into place it's not going to come undone unless you actually uh, press this little lever down and pull this pull it back but it's a three cell uh, these are double a size uh, lithium-ion cells here that are welded together in series and uh, uh, 
covered with uh, shrink wrap here. But uh, these are going to last you about 10 to 12 minutes. I've been getting roughly 12, 11 and a half minutes. Uh, pretty aggressive driving out of these. And I have uh, the kit, this kit did come with two, but I've got two more of these type here. And these have the GP Toys uh, branding on them for the S series trucks. Uh, so again, you're going to be using the same type of uh, connector on here. Alright guys, installing the battery in here is pretty simple. It's basically just going to be um, lining up the uh, pins uh, and the uh, on the connector here and snapping it into place, uh, setting the battery into the uh, into the holder here, and going ahead and putting the uh, cover back on. Pretty simple stuff. I want to make sure that's all in place and that you toggle these forward. But before you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you um, turn the power on on the uh, receiver, and you'll see that the power is on by the blinking LED there. Uh, that is signifying that it is ready to be. Bound. And we'll go ahead and close this up again. Toggle these forward to hold it into place. Uh, we can close the top here. I'm not going to put the pins in right now, but just to show you guys uh, that this is the GP Toys um, S915. This one originally came with that car, and we're going to go and turn it on. So the power on the car is on first. The power on the transmitter is on second, and we can see that we have uh, we have. Uh, bind right here so basically you're going to have a forward and a reverse function on here forward is just triggering forward and reverse is triggering reverse that's pretty much it for this right now guys i'm going to be doing a uh, video on some driving on here and give you my final review on this car so if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button it really helps my channel out a lot guys um, we'll see you all in the next one and god bless the republic